All right, you guys, I'm back again with another rant about KFC. It's like KFC, y'all. So, <coughs> yesterday I was working in Peoria. And I went to KFC in Peoria on Western Avenue. And I ordered my food. There was a lady in front of me, a lady behind me three or four more ladies walked in behind me, another couple walked in behind me. I ordered the three strip tender meal again, the $5 fill up box. Um, according to the receipt, I ordered it at 355. I stood in line, stood in line. Um, the girl before me ordered some chicken little sandwiches or whatever which are made with the chicken tenders. Um, she got her food. Then the other three or four ladies that walked in behind me also ordered some chicken little sandwiches. They got their food. Um, the couple that walked in got like two buckets of chicken. They got their food. I'm still standing here. I'm on my lunch break, which is only a 30 minute break. Um, I'm standing there waiting, standing there waiting, standing there waiting. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Everybody's like, damn, did they forget you or what? Like, what's going on? So I walk back up to the counter. I stand at the counter for like another 10 minutes. Where's my food? They're like, oh, um, your order must have gotten deleted on accident. So um, I don't know, let me see if I can figure out what happened. But I'm looking at the screen and the screen shows my order on it. So it did not get deleted, I'm looking at it. I can see it from across the counter. Why you guys can't see it behind the counter, like seriously. So I'm like, dude, my lunch break is over. I'm five minutes late from lunch. Um, I'm already five minutes over my time not to count having to go back so I'm irritated as hell so I'm like look just give me a refund charge me for the soda because I've already been drinking it like whatever so they give me a refund which still has not hit my card yet and that really irritates me because when I pay you guys with a card it takes you three seconds to take it off of my card it takes you three seconds to get your money um, but for some reason it takes like three days to put the money back on the card, whatever. That's an issue with the banker, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I work retail, so I understand what they tell you. The problem is I have a problem with the banks and all of that mess because like I said, it takes you three seconds to take it off my card, but it takes you three days to put it back on, whatever. So, the lady literally writes on my receipt, entitled to a free $5 fill-up. And I'm going to cover up her name, y'all, because that's not right. Um, well, I don't live in Peoria area. So, I was like, well, will this work at the Pekin KFC also? Because that's where I live. That's the one I'm closest to. That's the one I'm at more often than not. Um, and she's like, I don't know. So she literally writes, call and check. Call and check. Because <laughs> that's going to help. Anyway, you guys, so I'm irritated with KFC because this is the second time in like a four day period that I, they can't seem to get my food right. But again, Let's, let's pay everybody $15 an hour, whether you can count or read or write or spell or whatever. Let's pay everybody $15 an hour. It don't make no sense to me, you guys. I have worked in fast food. I get that you get busy and stuff gets lost and, you know, stuff gets handed to the wrong person and, and all of that. I get it. But bruh, 
Like, for real. If I'm not good at my job, I'm not going to ask for a raise. I'm not going to lie. I am good at my job. I do get paid more than other people get paid. Because I have the experience behind that to back it up. Now, I have a new GM. She's freaking awesome. She does everything. She does everything. I ain't done shit since she's been there. And I've told everybody that. So, I'm literally getting paid to wait on customers, basically. Um, because for the majority of the, the time that she's been there, she's done my job for me. Um, I haven't had to. And she knows that. I've told her that. Um, I tell other people that, like, it is what it is. She's kind of a perfectionist, so she wants everything done um, how she wants everything done. So she just kind of takes over and does it. Um, I've gotten a lot of complaints about her for that. I am not one of those people to complain on her for that. But anyway, back to my KFC rant. KFC, get it together. Like, seriously, y'all are baffling me right now. It, it. It don't make any sense. It just don't. Maybe it's just the KFCs I go to. I don't know. You guys, if you've had a good experience with KFC, congratulations. Because KFC is losing my faith. They're, they're killing me every day. So, I ended up having to order Jimmy John's yesterday because that's the only place that I could think of that delivered. I'm not a real big sandwich eater. For one, I'm diabetic. So I do have to eat. Um, I don't always eat. But whatever. I do have to eat when I start to feel it. And I was definitely feeling it yesterday. Um, I ordered Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is quick. They get it there. You know. They're awesome. Good job, Jimmy John's. The thing that I don't like about Jimmy John's, Subway, places like that is, dude, that is all bread. Like, all bread. It is not diabetic friendly whatsoever. Bread is like one of the worst things you can have as a diabetic. Um, so, I'm not real big on the Jimmy John's, Subway, places like that. Um, Head West in Springfield is the shit love you guys that sweet bread is freaking amazing they're all pretty much potheads in there so when you order something you actually get like the value of what you pay for i ordered the frenchie from jenny jimmy john yesterday the sandwich is like this long you guys it's it's a good foot size sandwich it's only about this big around and it barely has enough meat for you to taste. Um, I used one packet of mayo because I didn't want to cover up the meat. <laughs> so if that gives you a hint on how much meat there is, you literally can see the bread through the meat. Like if you're looking inside the sandwich, if you open it up and you actually look at it, they've cut that meat so thin that you literally can see the bread through the meat. But whatever, Jimmy John saved me yesterday, so I can't really complain. Um, the guy assured me that he would never not bring me my food, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get that delivery person every time, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I also had to pay like $10, maybe because I ordered the cookie, because I'm a fat ass, y'all. So I ordered an oatmeal raisin cookie, too, which is $2.00 but the cookie was pretty soft so it, it turned out okay um i am diabetic so i did not eat the cookie all at once so you guys don't start flipping out on me about how i'm complaining about being diabetic and needing to eat and then i eat a freaking cookie but it was an oatmeal raisin cookie so that makes it half good for you right like a mm, little bit maybe i don't know anyway that's your opinion i have my own opinion my doctor has his own opinion um, I don't always necessarily do what the doctor says. Actually, I hardly ever do what the doctor says because it's 
it's my life and I only get one and I feel like I should live it to my fullest. So anyway, I had to pay like $11 for Jimmy John. A dollar something was a tip. I don't feel like a dollar something is a good enough tip for you guys. Um, anybody working in any kind of service industry, a dollar tip, and I get that they give you some of the delivery fee or whatever, which is like two fifty or whatever that is. But gas is also like three dollars a gallon almost, so that two fifty don't mean shit to you. I get that too. Um, but you guys, like, come on, KFC. I I literally take my time to stop there and try to, you know, help you guys, keep you guys in business, keep you guys. And I don't order a lot. I know I do eat out a lot, but I work a lot. So I'm not at home to cook and, you know, stuff like that. I'm not going to come home at 930 at night and cook dinner. I'm not. Um because by 11.30, I'm ready for bed, 11.30, 12 o'clock. Um, I haven't been on my Xbox much lately, which kind of depresses me, but um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna come home at 9.30 at night and cook. It's just not good for you to eat that late anyway. So I do eat out a lot. Um, I do, for the most part, try the healthier options. Um, I will, you know, sometimes instead of getting fast food, I will go to Walmart or somewhere and get a salad. I'm not going to order a salad at fast food because they want, what, 8 $9 for a salad when I can go to Walmart and get a bigger salad um, and actually get, which even when I order a salad, y'all, it's not, <laughs> it's not a healthy option because um, I'm a sunflower egg crouton smother it in ranch dressing everything in there has to have ranch dressing on it um i put everything in my salad if there's options of two or three meats i'm putting all two or three of those meats in there um i'm doing the croutons there is a freaking gnat in here you guys and it is irritating the hell out of my soul and this gnat is like indestructible or something because i have <laughs> i've sprayed frying it flying frying <laughs> I'm hungry. I have sprayed flying insect killer and everything in this room. <laughs> and I actually walked down to a little convenience store that's down from my house and got me something to drink a while ago. Um, cause I am trying to do this little bit of walking thing every day. It's like six houses down or something. It's not even a block away, but whatever. Um, again, I'm a fat ass. So six, Six houses to me is quite a walk, especially when I drive everywhere, including down there half of the time. So I'm, I am trying to um, start walking down there in the mornings, um, on the mornings that I don't have to be at work until later on. I'm off for the next two days. My grandbabies will be here in a little bit. My daughter's gonna bring them down to me. Um, usually I'm driving down there to pick them up, but she's gonna bring them this time. Um, Maybe it'll give me and her some mommy and me time too because I'm going to make her run me around for a little bit today. Take me to a couple stores and stuff just because that's what she does to me every time I come to Springfield. So that's what I'm going to do to her today. And I loaned my, I guess you could call him my brother-in-law, but not really. But, you know, like we're not legally related, but whatever. Um, he's kind of like my brother-in-law. I loaned him my truck so he could go to his son's game. So, um, yeah, so this rant started about KFC. Sorry, you guys, my head is fucked up. I get off track very, very easily. Anyway, KFC, get it together. Get it together. Like, it's, it's not even fair anymore if I'm coming in there to spend my money. You guys, just give me what I want, please. I'm not being like one of those difficult ass customers. Like even when I asked for a refund yesterday, I didn't have an attitude about it or anything. I was just like, you know, can I just get a refund? Cause I'm already laid back to work from my lunch break. I don't have time to eat the food anyway. So even if you give it to me, I'm gonna be eating it in between customers and all that. And they complain about that forever and ever and ever and always. But whatever. Anyway, I had to spend a little more money than I wanted to yesterday for lunch. 
and that kind of bothered me and then the fact that it takes them 14 years to put the money back on your card after it took them three seconds to take it off bothers me it bothers me that they tell me they couldn't find my order but i'm looking dead at it um there's just quite a bit of things that bother me about it i'm i'm i've tried the meal planning thing i can't do the meal planning thing um for one, I don't know from one day to the next what I want to eat. Um, I'm a little off like that. A lot of times I do eat the same stuff consistently, but I don't necessarily like to do that. It's just because I run out of options and I'm just like, mm, whatever, food is food. Um, so, anyway, you guys, it's Sunday morning. Have a beautiful day today. Um, I think it's supposed to get a little warmer than I want it to, but I'm going to try to go out and do some yard work today because, like I said, I'm off. My grandbabies won't be here till about 2, and it's only 10.30 right now, so i got to find something to do with my time. And I really don't want to sit in the house all day and just watch movies because I'm off tomorrow, too, and they'll be here, so that's probably what I'll be doing tomorrow is just sit in front of the TV and watch movies with them and cuddling with them on the bed and hanging out. So... You guys hit me up, um, Facebook, Laura C794 at yahoo.com is my Facebook login thingy, username, whatever. Um, everything else, it's Laura C7966, cash at me, Laura C7966, um, email, Laura C7966 at gmail, YouTube, Laura C7966, um, you guys have a good Sunday. See you later. Why don't this fucking remind?